Good day, developer. This is Adi Web Developer Africa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Quick Coding Tips. This is another beautiful React Native project that I bring to your view this morning. Uh, if, it, if this is your first time here on my YouTube channel, please kindly click on the subscribe button and um, so you will get notification for incoming beautiful tutorial like this. This is CryptoCraft. CryptoCraft is a React Native mobile application that runs on both iOS and Android. This CryptoCraft was created with quality in mind. As you can see, it is a beautiful mobile application that you are going to put on your portfolio and is going to wow your employer. Um, let me introduce this CryptoCraft to you. CryptoCraft is um, a crypto wallet, a full crypto wallet that uh, we can use to build a crypto platform. So I'm going to I'm going to showcase different screen that we've created on this mobile application to you guys today. And we are going to be creating different screen and each screen and functionalities together on this channel. Click on the subscribe button so you will not miss any other tutorial because this tutorial cannot contain this particular video. I'm going to split this video into two. So you click on the subscribe, bu subscribe button. So when the tutorial, the second part tutorial drop, so you will get a notification directly from YouTube. From YouTube. Now let's dive into showcasing this beautiful project. Now this is our onboarding screen. Our, we have three onboarding screen, which this is the first one. If I click on this button, as you can see, there's an animation here that we generated from animation gest gesture handler. So this is a, another platform that uh, works with React Native. So this particular project doesn't use React Expo. As you can see, it is a React Native CLI that we use to create this project. We tell you the reason why we did not use React, React Expo at the end of this project. But stay tuned, and if you don't have enough experience with React, with React Native CLI, you can check their documentation. I will drop the link in my description below. So now we we navigated to the last onboarding screen. We can also skip this onboarding screen if if we do not really want to go through the onboarding screen. So we have our login page here, and here user can register for an account here. So let me register for an account using my gmail let me um, copy this gmail and use it as my password as you can see this is a very beautiful react native project that you can add to your portfolio and you're going to you you you, you are going to love the impression that this this particular project is going to is going to give you as a as an upcom, upcoming mobile application developer. So here we can toggle the hide and uh, and see icon to so hide and see our password. So user won't uh, won't make mistakes when typing their password. So let's click on the register button. So on the register button, we direct us to a login button. So we can confirm our credentials so now let me copy and paste the uh, credential that i used to open an account so before we log in to this account let's go to the forgot password page so this is the forgot password page where you can forgot uh where you can where you can reset your forgotten password so let me put this password here and let me click on send otp so this is an otp page where you're going to receive an OTP on this platform. So let me go back because I'm not I'm not trying to reset my password now. That's why the OTP MPOs didn't come up. So now let me um, just log in to this account so you can see the user that, the beautiful user dashboard that we've created on this mobile app. So now I have successfully logged in to my account. So this is the dashboard 
that we created for this particular project. Welcome to CryptoCraft. This is CryptoCraft dashboard, uh, wallet dashboard. This is um, a beautiful mobile application React Native projects that we've created with quality in mind. So this is our uh, total balance and this is our different cards that we've issued to this particular user. And this is our notification center where users will receive notification both on their phone and both on their SMS. So we have um, another sidebar here. You can see this is our sidebar, which also has uh, our different, different um, pages that are linked to the sidebar. So we also have the tab bar function features here. This tab bar features is something that as a React Native developer, you must know how to implement these features because it's it adds more elegant look and more beautiful uh, matured impression on your mobile application. So here is our tab bar. As you can see, this is our tab bar. It's a custom tab bar that we created without relying on, on the React Native um, um, React, React Native CLI uh, demo or React Native CLI uh, um, um, free, um, framework. But well, we, 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 we create this tab uh, on our own custom on, on, on our own custom um, custom implementation. So clicking on this trade bar, this trade button, you can see the animation that we've implemented on this tab bar. If you click on the referral, you see how the how the the circle move to to the right to the, to the right icon and by clicking on wallets you can see how the animation is working here so once i click on this um, a particular tab page the button icon is going to flow up and it's going to align to the center of this circle which makes it a great experience for our users so this is a I, as i said earlier this is an e commerce uh, and um and React Native projects that we created with Firebase that we put quality in mind. We want to do something beautiful and different. So that's why we've implemented everything this way. So we have um this particular wallet page that looks very beautiful, as you can see it's here. So this is um our wallet page, and here we can click on deposits so user can select different um icon as you can see we have different set uh different design beautiful designs and different type of coins that user can use to send money to um to uh, other users so here is how they can they can input um their amounts that they want to send to this particular wallet so they can click on and get process so here we have uh the withdraw the withdraw you don't want to withdraw so you can select a coin if it's uh, you can select ethereum and you can uh put in the amount and click on withdraw so here you can do some transaction so this is our transaction from either from sports wallet to future wallet you select coin and um from there you're going to impute the amount then you click on the transfer button to transfer it as you can see as we are in as we are putting all these features as as we are interacting with these features you can see we are having an update here on our on our vs code so as you can see it's here so once we if we click on the uh the, the icon here you can see we have let, let me put the amount and let's click on deposits so we have you can see we have um the Android sheets change here so we are using bottom sheets here so we can interact with these bottom sheets which makes this mobile application a very beautiful and a very reliable one so we can click on the user um sidebar and we can visit the user uh profile to set the user profile and this particular mobile application has two team the, the light sim and the dark sim so this is the dark mode why this is the um the light mode so we also have the light mode which makes uh, this particular mobile application looks more elegant 
as you can see the light mode also looks great while the dark mode also looks great so this is the user profile this is where users are going to verify their KYC verification. And um, this is where users are going to set up their accounts. If the user need a support, they can um, support and um, launch their request here. So users, people can attend to them. So this is the history of the accounts, all the transactions that users have done, the deposits, withdraw order, trade that users have take. So everything is going to be uh, stored here for 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 a reason if, if the user needs to check the history or if the user had any issue so user can log out here successfully and user can change the languages um, of this mobile application to either english or any other language so this is what we have today on this beautiful on this beautiful mobile application so we have uh, as you can see the ui is a very beautiful one so this is this are what we are going to be creating from scratch we are going to be creating this from scratch i know you are happy about this particular project and i know you can't wait to start building something like this i want you to click on the subscribe button so you will get you will get the notification whenever this story has been created and has been posted on youtube youtube is going to send the notification so you'll be able to watch this tutorial i don't want to i don't want you to be left behind so i will i will put the source code of this particular particular um, mobile application i will put the source code on the on the on the on, on the description below i will put a link to where you can download this source code so just check the description below you will get the the source code link there so from there you can run this particular you um you uh, mobile application on your on, on your on your mac or, or on your window so you can check the code follow up with me whenever we start doing this together as you can see we have a very a very well document documented code and our our code are up to date our you can see our port file is also up to date everything about this project is is superb so i want you to to do well now get this get this uh the source code on the description link and uh, get ready to build something beautiful that you can add to your portfolio and um wow your employee and you should you should you, you, should, you should take an advantage of this channel we have other source code um on, on our description that you can you can get download it run it and um, add it to your project you can add all our source code to your project it is free no like it's license free so uh, you should get it and um add them to your portfolio let them know you are capable of doing what you know how to do and i want you to keep on learning don't give up on this development journey you are you are you, you are you are on this path and we are happy to have you as one of our developer and um this is the beginning and this there's no end in learning you should continue learning and learning till you are conf you are competent to create anything that um that 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 you wish that you wish to build so uh, everything every everything gonna work well when you start learning you should uh, never stop learning because learning learning in development is a is a, is a never ending it's a never ending journey so you should keep on learning keep on working on yourself keep on building yourself till you are proud of yourself so i want you to on this journey i want you to get our source code put them on your portfolio showcase them tell um your employee that you built this yourself and um we have no issue doing that uh we support you 100 percent and um, we are ready to give you all uh supports that you need yeah thank you for visiting this, this channel today i would like to um i would like to drop the uh the the tutorial uh video right now but i will need to do that in the next video i'll uh, stay tuned i would like to meet you at the at the at the end of this tutorial and uh, if you need um if you need a a, a mentor or you need um to know more about this particular project 
you can um, you can send um, a DM to my email to the YouTube email, and uh, one of our, our our team is going to come up to you and um, respond to all your issues. Yeah, thank you so much for being on this channel today. Thank you, I am a web developer. And nice to meet you. Click on the subscribe button and um, wait for the tutorial to drop. And let's go. You are doing well.